Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bufat. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Hana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the victory of the Bahraini cycling team victorious Phil Bohos for coming in first place and obtaining the green shirts in the Tour of Hungary. Hana Sheikh Nasser affirmed that this victory is an extension of a series of successes achieved by the victorious cycling team in major international events and attributed the team's success to the cooperation among the team's technicians, administrators and cyclists. His Highness highlighted that the past period witnessed a great advancement for Team Victorious, whether as a team or as individuals, as they achieved many distinguished results that contribute to promoting the kingdom in international forums and moving steadily in its contribution to the realization of Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his sincere congratulations to cyclist Phil Bohas, indicating that this victory will be a great motivation for the team to continue reaping achievements in participation abroad. King Fahad Causeway continued to receive visitors to Bahrain following a decision by Saudi Arabia to lift a travel ban on its citizens according to certain regulations as part of precautionary measures to fight coronavirus COVID-19 and enable the causeway to resume its regular travel activities. Plans and procedures were developed to facilitate the flow of passengers taking into consideration precautions and preventative measures recommended by the National Task Force team to combat coronavirus. The streets of Bahrain and its iconic towers are decorated with green lights and the flags of the kingdom and the kingdom of Saudi Arabia to celebrate the opening of the King Fahad Causeway. These celebrations, which took place on the streets of the kingdom, reflected the depth of the historical fraternal relations between the two countries, their leadership, the governments and the people. The Minister of State for Entrepreneurship and Small and Medium Enterprises, Dr. Ahmed bin Abdullah Bilhul El Filasi, and the Minister of Responsible for the Tourism Sector in the United Arab Emirates, visited Bahrain's pavilion at the Arab Travel Market Expo 2021 in Dubai and was received by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashd Zayani. The Kingdom of Bahrain, represented by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority and Gulf Air, the national carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain, are participating in the Arab Arab Travel Market 2021 exhibition at the Bahraini Pavilion extended over an area more than 400 square meters and was designed in a way that reflects Bahrain's tourist attractions. The Bahraini Pavilion in this market includes a special section for Gulf Air in addition to seven private tourism facilities that present their best offers in this event, which is the largest of its kind in the region. 62 countries are participating in this live version of this year's Arab Travel Market exhibition, which which affirms the importance and strength of the event as well as its international popularity. Statistics and official data issued by the General Secretariat of the Shura Council during the third ordinary session of the fifth legislative term revealed that the Council discussed more than 100 decrees, projects and law proposals within 30 sessions. The draft laws received the highest percentage of the total topics discussed by the Council, reaching 60%, followed by proposals for laws by 19%, while the percentage of decrees and laws reached 12% and final accounts reached 9% of the total discussed topics. The Under Secretary for Works Affairs at the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Ahmed Abdelaziz Al Khayyad, affirmed the government's keenness to implement development projects to meet the needs of citizens and keep pace with the urban expansion taking place in the Kingdom of Bahrain and advance economic development. The Under Secretary for Works Affairs stated that last April the Tender Board awarded four tenders at a total cost of about 3 million and 328,000 dinars, adding that 12 bids were offered with an estimated value of more than 4,843 dinars. 
The Society of Owners of Private Healthcare Institutions, the SOPHI, has called for commitment to the information released by the National Medical Task Force for Combating COVID-19, describing it as the only official and credible source of information related to the pandemic in Bahrain. Sophie urged doctors and all those concerned to be cautious and verify all pandemic-related figures, information or statistics before posting them on social media networks, affirming its confidence in the transparency of the information and figures released by the National Medical Task Force. Sophie Board of Directors Chairman Dr. Hussain Al-Mir affirmed that the National Medical Task Force is the only source of information and statistics related to the spread of the pandemic, stressing the need to use its information and statistics in order not to spread panic among members of the society. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 838,000 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 634 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached, 1, reached 16,372 with new 1,324 recoveries, 1,884 registered new cases and 9 deaths. 597 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,268 are contact of active cases and 19 are travel-related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.